Hello, and welcome to Home Day. You might be looking for a little bit of color, maybe to brighten up your space and usher in the spring. Please welcome Sharon Grek with a great project for us. This is just beautiful. Isn't it colorful? I came Finally. out here earlier and I find that I gravitate towards this. There's oh. something about these big splashes of color all put together might seem scary. Yes. But it works quite beautifully all together. So you've got a project here um, based around this beautiful, it's almost like a rainbow door. Yeah, it is. And I really wanted to incorporate some DIY as well as some fantastic pieces from HomeSense. And I yeah. don't know about you, but I'm I'm so sick of winter. It is spring, but it still doesn't feel like it. So yeah. I'm, I'm clearing the closets, <laughs> bringing Do out it. the colorful clothes. And I thought this was a great time to bring color into this set. So I think so. It, it, it is high time we've done it. Why not have some fun? Play Play with different prints and patterns yes. as well. Bring I, some floral into your space. I think it's important. It's an important lesson because I think when people are afraid of color, as you mentioned, and sometimes you just do one thing, which is a great start. Sometimes an accent wall yeah. is all you need to get started. But you know what? I've been finding more and more people are they're, they're, they are gravitating towards more color. Mm -hmm. So you've got to think about how you incorporate all of that. And I always recommend starting with one main piece. And for me, it was a blistery, cold, snow, stormy day, yeah. and I went into HomeSense and I saw this painting and I tell you I just walked right towards it and I'm like okay that is going to be the start of this little kitchen set because it's so beautiful it's so vibrant I love the bright yellows and the bright greens and mm -hmm. it just felt so kind of necessary therapeutic at that moment so that is a great piece to start with and on the other side we also talk about rugs as being inspiration mm -hmm. but in this point and in, in this case I actually wanted to tie it in and just make it more fun so played around with a larger scale print and this is also from HomeSense and it's got almost a um, like a tie-dye e-cat print and yeah. I think that that kind of softens and again on the floor with a larger print your eye doesn't really go to that so you can go a little bit crazier even if you've got some con contrasting colors elsewhere. You know it warms it up but in a way you're right that's not jarring and uh, I love jarring. the fact that I, it's such a funky pattern. I love it's that. It's really beautiful I love it and I saw it in some blues and some other colors and any of them would have worked but I really loved how the red just pulled a little bit of that warmer side out of the mm -hmm. out of the painting and so the paint color. Now, ordinarily, I tend to go towards more neutral colors myself. But again, I was looking at all these pieces and I thought, I want color. I want something warm and uh, and I'm vibrant. I'm going for it. So this is Jamaican aqua. Ooh, Isn't that, doesn't that sound really good right now? It sounds warm and <laughs> you peachy. You just want to oh, just want to drink in your that hand. Pool. It's good. It's really good. Feels good. So I I thought that that was a really nice vibrant color. And again, it could be a nice little accent if this was just a little kitchen niche. Yeah. Or it could certainly work. Through throughout your whole house if you've got lots of whites and simple furniture like glass and a little bit of sparkle. So these, you know, fun yellow chairs which almost look like they could be outside and we brought them in. Yep. This is also another great way to add a punch of color and you can always change that seasonally and mix it up with some white ones or of course you could paint them. You know, you could paint them if you have That's simple right. chairs and you just want to paint them, then go for it. Now, the other thing that I added was um, was this old door. So I went to the salvage shop, which is one of my favorite haunts, and picked up this old door. It was in really rough shape, so I gave it a good uh, a good painting. And then I really wanted to showcase how Benjamin Moore has the chalkboard paint that's tintable now. So these, these are, are all actually chalkboard. chalkboard. Yes. Yeah, oh, so you know, great. if it's your kitchen, you can write your menu. And I thought this would be kind of a fun that's calendar. Great. So it could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Each yeah. of the people in the family could have an air. I love Sharon Aww. Grant. I thought you were going to say I love summer or spring, but thank no, you. That's you. even better. I love you. Okay, let's, so let's show talk how about you how to do this. that. So uh, I think that going to a salvage shop, I mean, oh, I admire people I like you that do that. I'm it's a beautiful take you there way to find day, good finds. Yeah, it is fantastic. And this one, now the door that I had wasn't in as quite rough shape as this. But the funny thing about this little piece is I absolutely love it. And me, how, you know how much I love paint? But I actually wouldn't paint the outside of this. I think it it's really so cool good. just the way it is. It's got this nice sort of patina. So I just cleaned it up. And um, with anything, when you're going to be painting over it with chalkboard paint, it's a really good idea to sand it a little bit, and then I used Fresh Start Primer okay. on the inset, taped yeah. it up, and then again, you got all of these, I tinted it up to Monmouth Green, Calypso Orange, so we've got some really bright, vibrant colors, and this could be your chalkboard. So I've just brought some sandpaper to show if it's really rough, you might want to use a 60, yeah. which is what I ended up using on the outside of the door, and then I painted the door with Advance Pearl, so it's very durable, it, you know, it can get kicked around.
Beautiful. But I also wanted to show just some different ideas that you can use with the chalkboard paint, some small sort of crafty ideas. So I've sure. showed this on City Line before. I, you know, just painted up with chalkboard paint so you can put your notes on for your file folders for your office. And then we've got some pictures on screen of a few more little little fun sort of crafty you can ideas. Use. Yeah. So I love the fact that you've done this with the chalkboard another paint. Calendar. Benjamin Moore has. Yeah. Uh, that is great. Isn't that fun? So it's another calendar idea for an office area. So you've got yeah. the black chalkboard, the traditional black chalkboard, and then that fun green color inside so that's a really fun idea and then something a little bit smaller yeah you can do some so you sort don't of necessarily crafty need ideas. the bulletin board there you've got a whole uh, wall oh yeah, and you that might looks remember familiar that. to me <laughs> That is great. So that was a chalkboard wall with a bit more painted. And then again, if you just want to use up the rest of your chalkboard on your planters for yeah. your herb garden, which hopefully I'll be able to bring my herb garden outside pretty soon. What did Frankie say about that? I felt like, yeah, no, you no, got to keep it inside wait. for a while. <laughs> yeah, just for a little while. But okay. soon we're almost Let's there. Let's hope, yeah. Great projects, so and you know what? The you. kids absolutely love uh, writing on a chalkboard. Me too. If you are a visual learner, like we've been yep. talking about in our family day shows, you want lots of chalkboard that paint is my everywhere. Kids. Yes. Yeah, you can just draw and color.